Hi, I'm Scott with Oshawa Fire Services. Uh, today we're going to go through some of the important information that has to do with uh, installing your child restraint system for your new baby or your toddler who's moving on to a new stage. Uh, first things first, we need to make sure that we've got the correct seat. So you'll see on the side of your seat at the store, there is information in, that helps you to choose the proper seat. So for this particular example, this is an infant only seat that gives you a range of four to 30 pounds. It's important to always follow the manufacturer's guidelines when it comes to these seats and their usage. So with a brand new baby, this is going to be an example of a seat that you would want to choose. So we've got our infant only seat here, which has got a carrier and it also has a base. The base gets installed into the vehicle directly and the carrier allows you to harness the baby inside, maybe on a cold winter's day, and then bring them out to the vehicle where you simply click it into the base. So let's go ahead and talk about how we do the installation. You'll want to make sure that you've got both the manual for the seat as well as the manual for the vehicle. All right. It's very important to keep both of these with the seat and the vehicle anytime you've got a child restraint system in the vehicle. So there are a couple of points that you're going to want to follow. And when you're in doing the actual installation, it's going to take uh, two people to, to do the process itself. This is not a one person operation. So if, uh, for example, you are pregnant yourself, make sure that you have a couple sets of hands to help you out, okay? Because we don't want anybody to uh, get hurt in the process. Every vehicle that was made after 2002 has uh, the universal anchor system built in. There are little anchors that are at the uh, back side of the seats at the rear of the vehicle. And your owner's manual for the vehicle will tell you what orientation is safe or approved for the car seat to be installed in that location. So on average, the safest location in the vehicle is the center seat. I'm going to demonstrate for ease of access purposes behind the passenger seat in this vehicle. All right, so what we have is an infant only rear facing base. This particular base has the universal anchorage system, which you see here. When we attach it, you will hear a click and you need to give it a tug and a move side to side to make sure that it has fully connected to the base. You'll do that on both sides of the base itself, keeping it nice and loose. And then this is where the two person operation comes into effect. We need to tighten this down to the point where our goal is when I grab this seat right above the anchor point and move side to side, it reacts the same as if I grab the seat in front or the seat behind and shake. You should actually get the vehicle to move. Okay, so this is where it takes two people. Uh, the best way to do this is have one person put a hand on either side of here of the seat and rock slowly side to side, the other person will simultaneously pull this strap. And there's a little loop, I don't know if you can see this here, that gives you a little bit more leverage for pulling. And that's on virtually every seat that's on the market right now, okay? So you don't have to worry about finding that feature on a specific seat, all right? Once this is locked down, and we'll show you that in a minute when we have a second set of hands, we will grab a hold of this and make sure that is nice and solid. The next point that we have to track down here is the leveling system. So on this particular seat, if you can see here, there's a, a red line that says level with ground. So whenever you're doing an installation, it's best to do it on level ground or as flat ground as you can, as you can uh, do. If you happen to be in your driveway at home, for example, you can still do it, but you have to make sure that this leveling line is parallel to the ground, okay? So this leveling line, once it's tightened down, if we are 
within a couple of degrees of it being perfectly parallel to the ground, it means that the baby's back is going to be at the appropriate angle. So when I've got this all installed, and I take the carrier seat itself and clip it in with two clicks, one, two, that should put the baby's back at roughly 45 degree angle, all right? Every seat, especially with your infant only, will have a different set of criteria that is important to pay attention to. And this is why it's so critical that you follow the manu manufacturer's recommendations whenever you're installing or moving a seat that is going to be holding a child. Uh, this particular uh, seat, if we've got the appropriate angle here on the back, it's got a, an additional criteria that states that you must have this handle, the carrying handle, in the upright position whenever you're doing any driving. This is an example of one of the safety systems that they've added into this seat, and it's very critical that you follow the manufacturer's recommendations on this as well. So now we've had an opportunity to tighten the base to the seat. And you'll see when I grab a hold at the back of the base and move side to side, I'm getting much less than one inch of movement side to side. That's our goal. So you can't see it because of the perspective, but I'm shaking the vehicle just like if I was grabbing the passenger seat or the rear back seat. Uh, this, is, this is the uh, level of anchor that we need to have with this base at all times. And the same carries forward to your combination and your forward-facing seats. Once they are anchored in with the universal anchorage system, these straps here, you need to have that, that snug factor. And if it loosens up over time, don't worry about it. Just tighten it down a little bit more. Okay? Remember, we're not checking at the front. There's going to be lots of play at the front of a base seat. We want to go straight to the back, just above the anchor, and that's our goal. So this is an example of adequate installation. From here, just a reminder, when we're placing our carrier, child carrier, into the base, you need two independent clicks. One, two. If you have done it a few times, you'll get used to the feeling and the sound. The release is at the back. Follow my hand here to bring it up and try again. If you feel like you are, are not 100% on it, don't be afraid to come into one of our stations and we'll help to make sure that uh, this is installed correctly for you. Our goal here is to teach you, the public, how to do this process yourself so you can be independent. And if you have to make a change at home or if you're away on vacation and you need to get into a rental vehicle, you have the skills and the knowledge to do this. This is, a, this is a seat that's designed to take one impact. So whether the baby's in this seat or not, this seat is now part of the vehicle and insurance will cover replacement of this. So don't be afraid to bring it up to your insurance. Even if you're in a fender bender and baby's not in the seat, this seat needs to be replaced. It's got foam and plastic that can break down because of impact and it should not be used if it's been in a collision. So if you've purchased your seat from new, you know the history of it. This is why we always recommend you go to your big box stores in Canada to make sure that your seat's been approved by Transport Canada and you know the history because you're the one taking it out of the box. Hand-me-down seats are not recommended by Oshawa Fire Services if you can avoid it because of that. Uh, the last thing that we always, always ensure that you do as the owner of the seat and as the parent or guardian is to double check that this seat doesn't have any recalls on it. It's your responsibility to do this. There are two ways to do it. Number one, you can register the seat online or with a mail-in tag that'll come with your seat. That's number one. That's, that's the best choice if you can do one of, the, one of those options. And the other option is to search online for your make and model, okay? Your best bet is to go with the online registration because they will email you if there are any recalls and they'll give you all the steps that you need to know for that. So I hope this has been informative for you today. Uh, we appreciate your time. If you have any questions, uh, we're open 
all day and all night, Oshawa Fire Services. Uh, come into one of our stations and we'll teach you to uh, use these seats safely. Thank you for your time.